Well, we are on our way to an estate sale. It's in Hope Mills today. There is one in Fayetteville, but it's also, it's a large one, and it's put on by L&M, which I'm hoping will draw more people, because it's like 38 degrees out, and L&M will let you sign a sheet of paper and then go sit in your car, or leave and come back when it's closer to opening, because it won't start until 9, and it's 7.30 right now. So, I'm hoping more people go to that one than the one in Hope Mills so that I can be one of the first people at the Hope Mills ones. I would love to be first of all, but we'll see. But to me, the one in Hope Mills looks better for what I want and what I'm looking for. Although the one here in Fayetteville is intriguing. Um, it looks like the people decorated their house in 1975 and never updated it. I mean, there's the... Um, round bed with velvet and there's the velvet paintings including Elvis um, the oil lamp you know the little lamp with the like figurine in it and that drips oil down little strands my mom had one she loved it So that is not my style. I know some people love it, and if you do, this Fayetteville um, estate sale would be for you. Um, part of me kind of wants to stop by, but part of me is like, eh. But I'm really hoping that Big Hair Sheila, Wayne, I'm really hoping all of them go to the Fayetteville one so I can be at the Hope Mills one and be one of the first. So I'll let you know how that goes. Oh my gosh, I did it. Line starts here, I'm number one. Ah, I'm so excited. I hope I get all the things that I'm trying to find and that they're a good price. I'm so excited. <laughs> my first, my first first. <laughs> well, yay, I was number one. I finally broke that, popped that cherry so I could be the first one. Um, who knows when that'll happen again, but I'll take it. Um, I was able to get a lot of what I was looking for, so that made me very happy. By the time I walked in, there was like eight of us all going in, so it's pretty mellow, pretty quiet, but that's okay. Um, less, less fighting to try and get what you want or less crowded. And found some things I wasn't necessarily like thinking of or looking for, but that's part of the fun. So it was a good haul and I'll share that when I get home. And probably some stories too, because there's always stories. Where there's people in a crowd, there's always stories. Hi friends, welcome to the hall. So the estate sale, I wanted to go to this one very badly because it had some good stuff. It wasn't huge, but it still had some stuff I wanted to get. And I swear I hit like every red light. I know I counted eight that I got stopped at. And I was so trying to be first and I finally made it. I was first and I was so excited. Um, there was a lady there that I'd seen at several other ones, super nice super knowledgeable she's been doing it for a long time so she kind of knew each each of the different estate people that put on the sales she clue me in on some things and i really like her she i guess she used to work for one of them but <laughs> she essentially traded her income working for the estate sales for stuff at the estate sales, so she finally stuck then there was another couple there they were pretty cool no big hair sheila i think big hair sheila art and wayne were at the 1970s house and i'm sure some people were going over there but i have no desire to go over there I, I think most of it was because number one 1970s is my childhood i lived through it i'm done i don't really care I'm not into all that stuff i'll insert some pictures of some of the stuff at the sale that is just not my thing but um i suppose i could sell it to people but a lot of it was bigger items like furniture big light fixtures things like that and I don't have the place to store it and I don't want to try and ship it either. So no, thank you. So I'm sure that's where the line was, but I'll pass. So yeah, they were telling me about some of the estate sales where, so here almost every estate seller has the thing on Saturdays where everything's half price when they open their doors on Saturday at like nine. So if you want to take the chance that what you saw was there Thursday or Friday, still there on Saturday, 
you could go there and get it for half price. And I have gone to some with my husband on a Saturday and found some great things that I had seen Thursday or Friday that I had wanted and was able to get them half price. It was awesome, but it's a gamble. It really is. Well, let's go. Carolina doesn't do that. They wait until noon. So unfortunately people have played the game where they get a box, they go pick out the things they want. Say they show up at 11 and they shop the house and they find the things they want for a half hour. Then they put them in the box. They go set the box by the checkout. And then they just kind of park and wait with their box until noon so they can get the stuff at half price. And I think that's just kind of shady, just shady. <sighs> It'd be nice if people just could, you know, follow the rules and have a little bit of character because I can't imagine, I get it. It's a bigger cut for you. Like if you were buying a hundred dollar table, I'm going to get it for 50. That's a big deal. But if you're trying to buy a $2 item for a dollar, really? Or the fact that I guess there's been terrible people that just take the stuff and walk out when it's busy and don't even pay. It's like, ugh, people, 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 be nice, be kind, be honest. So ruin it for all of us, rest of us. So I'll get off my little soapbox now and share my haul. So I got this. It doesn't have any markings, and this actually can be a detached. Um, I don't know if it really goes together, but it was together when I got to the table. So I'm assuming for a relish tray or candies or I don't know. If it was me, though, I would be using it like I would probably take this off and put this in the bathroom. Like you could put little soaps in here or seashells. Um, you could put candies, you could put, um, some of your jewelry and look at the etchings in the center. I just, it, to me, it's very, I love the detailing. I love the size of it and the fact that it kind of goes up. I mean, it's a great little holder for whatever you want to hold. That's kind of small that you want to keep crowd. Like if you collect like wooden spools or maybe you collect, um, I don't know, you could put hand towels in it in your bathroom. You could put, you know, bath bombs. You could put headbands in it on a dresser. I just think it's a, it's a great little find. And I want to put it in my shop, but I kind of want to keep it too. I kind of just have kind of just of a sucker for silver plated or silver things. So as you will see, because I found some other stuff that is silver that I want to keep for myself. Then they had this little miniature I don't know if this piece goes with it, but it was with it when I bought it. So I just kept it. But look at this itty bitty little like oil lamp. Isn't this fantastic? I love oil lamps and it's got the little wick in it. So you can totally, I don't know if it'll, if you can see it, but it has the wick in it. So you could totally put actual oil in it and light it. So, and let's see on this, it says made in looks like Hong Kong. On the little on the little circle here so i love the detail so you could either set it like this together or if it was me i'd almost want to hang it somewhere i don't know i love miniatures so i think this is super cute then this, she had a set of all these ornaments and i guess they're denbury denbury mint and like this one is marked 2009 but look at the detailing of the church, like the little windows and the little doors are open. I just think they're stunning. And here's another one. The detailing is just amazing here. Sorry, I'll hold it still, but you have the bow and like the holly leaves and it says love hanging from the ornaments. I mean, the, to me, these are so beautiful. I wouldn't even wait for Christmas. I would put it out now. I especially kind of love this one because I love the danglies. I love the little ornaments dangling at the bottom. It just, it, it speaks to the magpie in me because I love sparkly. And then another one that I got, the last one I got, which they had more, like I said, I wish I'd bought more of them, was this one in Smart 2012. Whoops, sorry about that. It's trees 
if you can see it down here, some animals, and up here is a bird. But it's so pretty. It looks like there's a cat and a couple of bunnies and a mouse and a deer. And then up in the tree, there's an owl. And then on the other side, there's a squirrel. So let's see if I can hold that still long enough so you can see all the different animals and that kind of three-dimensional quality. So beautiful. Then I was going to put this in my shop. I know it's just a raised gravy boat, but I love the fact that it's raised. I like the handle and the shape of it. I think it'll be so much fun to either put a candle in or a little Christmas tree or make like a little nest with some eggs for Easter or fill it with seashells. I don't know. I just think it's like now at Valentine's, you could totally put candies in it, like chocolates or conversation hearts. I, I love the shape of it. The shape just speaks to me. Hey, that's almost like an ear. <laughs> that's what I see when I, but I wouldn't use it for a gravy boat. It's decor to me. And then this, I know, has started to become a really a, a hot item, and that's enamelware. So this is an enamel cowboy style coffee pot. It's in great condition. I don't I don't know if they ever used it or they just saved it for decor. But it's a lot of fun. Like if you're into the camping decor or you could put flowers in it or a plant. I just think it's fun. And now the last two items, last two items are for myself. So I saw this in the picture and I thought maybe porcelain, but it's plastic. And then it's got this little like woven bed. And look at the sweet little face of that kitty. But what even made me more excited about it is it's a lint brush, which having two cats, I need the lint brush. So maybe I put that in backwards, but I love it. I love the little kitty. I love the little kitty lint, lint brush. So totally putting that on one of my dressers and probably using it should every day from our cats. And the last item for myself that I'm keeping is this. I know it's heavily tarnished, but I don't care. I just, I love these old tarnished but look at the inside, the silver. It's gorgeous. And it's marked on the bottom. Let's see. It says Academy Silver on Copper. So and it is really nice and heavy. I mean, you can tell it's a heavy, solid piece. But I love the shape here and the shape here. And then I love that it's almost got that like mid-century vibe where it's just nice, clean lines with a tiny little detail up here. I love the lid. I love that it's nice and silvery on the inside. I want to use it either setting out like this or I want to put flowers in it, especially for spring. I just, it was one of the things I for sure wanted to get. So that's my haul. Sorry, itchy nose. The spring is coming here in North Carolina. Our tulip magnolia is blooming. Maybe I'll insert a picture here because. gorgeous pink just beautiful um, some of the camillas have started blooming we have daffodils it won't be till probably another two or three weeks we'll start getting the azaleas sometime in march and i'll have to share some of those pictures because it's it's stunning but right now um i'll just a little update my husband's studio is finished so we put out two different people for bids for painting because we were going to do it. And then I told them, you know what? <laughs> I'm 57. I'm too old to do that anymore. And it's not my thing. Can we just pay someone to do it? So when we get back the second bid, we'll be deciding who's going to paint his studio and then who's, and who's also painting my hobby room now. And there'll be a little video coming up, a little makeover of like before and after of like what it looks like now. And I've included some of that in the pictures. It's just kind of a chaotic mess. And then showing the new paint and putting up and arranging the furniture in there and putting up my gallery wall. So that'll be coming if you're interested to see a little like makeover. I mean, it's not all me. I'm not doing the hard work. I'm just doing the fun work of decorating. Although I will put together the bookshelf. So that's kind of work. But um, anyhow, Thanks for coming and seeing the hall and hearing the latest estate sale drama. The estate sale soap opera goes on every week. 
um, I will share with you how I styled some of my items. Let's have a Bible verse. Here we go. Whoops. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew 5, 6. Isn't that wonderful to know? What does it mean to you to thirst after righteousness? What is righteousness? You know, it's hard to think about some of those things, and I think we don't think about them enough. But thankfully, we know right and wrong. It's written on our hearts. Now we need to act on it. So anyway, stay tuned for some styling. And thanks for joining me, friends. State sales go on. <laughs> I don't know. I should find some kind of sign off because one of my friends, Becky, from my little vintage home always says, see you later. See, see you later. Bye. But I don't feel like that's mine to take. And I don't say that. So, and I'm not from the South. I was born here, but we, I was raised in the North. So I'm transplanted back here after uh, like 50 year hiatus. <laughs> so. I'll just say bye for now. <laughs> okay, I found a spot. I had a teacup there, but I decided to change it to, I decided to change it to the pitcher and so the teacup because, I don't know, I just wanted to use it. It's new and I liked it. And I like the little ornament in there with the purple here. And I know Valentine's is over, but I'm not taking my decor down till the end of the month. And then I can switch to Easter. I don't do anything for St. Patrick's Day because meh. And then the other picture I put up there. So I have a picture, a white picture here. I love that. Now the new one, and kind of hard to see this one, but it's buried under a fake plant. But I like them up there. So that's where I put that stuff. And now to find a spot for my little kitty lint brush, I'm going to put it here on my nightstand. There you go. Yep, with my little bird and faux flinkies. And some pictures of my mama. My mama and me, she was beautiful and funny. And that's her dad, my grandpa, my brother and I. And I got this on Amazon, but I love how vintage it looks. So yeah, this is my nightstand. I got all family Bibles down here. My mom's, I believe this is Grandpa Jones's, or maybe this is Grandpa Jones's, and then we have Grandma Ella's, and I forget all the other ones. I don't know. All I know is this is my mom's, and that's what matters the most. And these are a couple journals from her, and her little wedding album that I've also inserted some pictures, and this came from Whim Whimsy Barn Vintage, so yep. A good spot for all of that. So that's today's haul and styling. Bye now.